Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay f***ing calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody is it finally happened. Largest signing in franchise history for the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's go, man. We actually got Springer and Kirby Yates in one day. This is one of the craziest uh, off-seasons in Blue Jays history. Uh, I'm going to go over this deal. Six years, $150 million. It's a crazy contract. Uh, quick thoughts. I'm going to try and keep this under three minutes. Let's go. It's been the New York Mets, Toronto Blue Jays race for like a month now. And I was totally... I made a video early, early, early about Kirby Yates and I said... Springer is 100% going to the Mets. Um, he actually came to the Blue Jays, which might be playing in Buffalo. It's wild. He's a leadoff guy with all-star potential, and he's going to be the only like proven uh, guy in this Blue Jays lineup. We have a whole bunch of young guys with lots of potential. Tay Oscar had a great year, but they aren't proven. George Springer is a proven player with a World Series MVP under his belt. This is going to be great. He's a great defensive center fielder. He's going to bat leadoff for us. Biggio Bichette. Tay Oscar, Guriel, Vlad will all follow him. We're going to have a Gritchick batting like 8th, which will be great. Obviously, he's part of the Astro Sheen scandal. We know this. It just doesn't feel like he's as at fault as guys like Correa, Bregman, Altuve, because he was kind of quiet about it. He also has a stutter, which kind of endears him to more people, and he seems a little bit more charismatic and like cooler than the other players. So I'm super happy about Springer. It means Gritchick's going to move to right field. We can full-time DH Tay Oscar Hernandez. Thankfully, because he is terrible in the field. Uh, I'm so excited for this. We're going to talk about the contract right now. It's six years, 150 million, 25 mil uh, AAV, so average annual value. So he gets $25 million per year. Puts him as the 20th highest paid uh, player in the league right now. But he was going to get that from the Mets. So if the Blue Jays want to go out and get players, you got to pay the same money as the other teams. Uh, is this contract going to look good in six years when he's 37? No. Uh, the Yankees are paying Dijon Lee until he's 37, uh, but Springer is a guy that uh, definitely, what's the word, uh, he needs his athleticism a lot, he needs a center fielder, but he doesn't need his athleticism a lot, but it's going to decline throughout the years. Uh, he'll probably move to the corner outfields in the next like two years, or and he'll share some time with Gritchick this year. I don't think it matters. The Blue Jays are really going for it. We just need to re-sign Walker, maybe get Odorizzi or Paxson, and I'm good, and it's an A-plus offseason for the Blue Jays, and I have us... A three-way race for the AL East. I'm going to do a whole video on the Blue Jays' outlook for the 2020 season, but I'm just excited. I'm going to end it right here. I can't believe Springer went to the Blue Jays. I'm filming this video uh, super late at night. What's it? It's 11.40. My parents have already gone to bed. I'm turning on my lights, so they're probably having trouble sleeping. It doesn't matter. George Springer is a Toronto Blue Jay. I can't wait for this 2021 season. Either they play in Toronto or they play in Buffalo. I actually kind of like the Buffalo field. It was outdoors, unlike Rogers Center. I can't wait. Two months till the season starts. One month till spring training.